One of the major reasons that the Las Vegas terrorist attack was as deadly as it was, was because of the use of so-called bump stocks that allow you through modification and purchasing something to take a semi-automatic firearm and closely mimic the firing rate of a fully automatic weapon. And now after their use in Las Vegas, some politicians are looking to ban those devices. And you would think since the only purpose of these accessories is to effectively allow you to circumvent a federal law, that wouldn't be that difficult. We should all be able to agree. This is one of the worst shootings in the history of our country. But not everybody's on board. Guess who's not on board? The NRA is not on board. So we've got two bills that would seek to ban these. We've got Senator Dianne Feinstein's bill would make it illegal for companies and individuals to buy bump stocks. You also have Representative Carlos Curbelo's bipartisan bill would ban them as well. Uh, but the NRA put out this statement saying, we oppose the gun control legislation. These bills are intentionally overreaching and would ban commonly owned firearm accessories. And so they're always worried about that slippery slope. I mean, sure, you just don't want there to be massacres, you say. Yeah. And these things are not particularly expensive. The modifications are not particularly complicated, by the way. Up until very recently, and perhaps even today, uh, you can watch videos on the internet that explain how to make these modifications. Well, to be fair to the NRA, if you run into a herd of armed deer, <laughs> you're really gonna need to fire that rapidly to, to make sure that they don't get you. So the reason this story is interesting, yeah, the NRA opposes every legislation that would regulate guns in any way, shape or form, because that's they make money from selling weapons. And if those weapons kill you, they still made the money. In fact, they'll make more money because you'll get scared and buy more guns. So. But why it's interesting is because the NRA had said that they were going to be in favor of getting rid of bump stocks. And it was like the first time they had agreed to anything, even though like this is such a layup, it's so obvious, it's so easy. Overwhelming percentage of Americans agree, yada, yada, yada. And we're like, but when the NRA said they would agree, I was like, whoa, okay, that's interesting. Apparently, we have hit some portion of the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> and then the NRA was like, ah, just kidding, yeah. just kidding. No, 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 no. Of course, we oppose legislation. Massacre anyone you like. Yeah. Uh, it leads to more gun sales. Uh, oh, I mean, my excuse is I think that it's a better approach to do a regulatory thing. Here, really, wait a minute. I thought you guys were against overregulation and you were against executive orders and all that. But all of a sudden, no, 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 not a bill, not a bill. Let's just do regulation. And it's a tweak, it's a tweak. Yeah. What do you what do and you have bump stocks or don't you have bump stocks? What's the tweak part? Well, and the sick thing is, uh, and I'm sure that they acknowledge this, is that if you loosen up a gun law, people buy more guns. If you tighten up the gun laws, they buy more guns right before it. If there's a, a big massacre, as you say, people go buy guns. If they complain about intentional overreaching by the federal government, people will go buy more guns. Really, as long as they're talking, people are walking to the gun stores to buy more guns. And so why would they ever concede anything? They can simply pretend that the most reasonable in the world is a complete crackdown on guns, and that will scare people into buying their 45th assault rifle. As Jenk says, they're, an assault, they're the NRA, a trade group. They're there to represent the gun business. And so they want to and go on record with things that are good for the gun business. They're not there to craft legislative policy for the American public. That's not what the NRA is there for. They'll try to make arguments and you see them doing all of these logical gymnastics, but they're there to protect the sale of guns. Now, kind of to the point these guys are making it so right on. I mean, these are assault weapons uh, that are used just to kill people or I guess target practice or not. listen, I'm not a gun guy per se, but I do know that we allow these modifications and there's no reason you need that modification. There's just none, there's, it, there's no uh, reason that you need those bump stocks. So it seems as Jenks says, sort of a legislative layup, you know, you're not really giving up much ground. And the other thing I would say is that this Vegas shooter had a boatload of munitions. I mean, how do you let any American buy that much firepower? Why do you need that much? I mean, I get you want to defend your domicile, whatever the deal is, but why do you need 30 AR-15s? Why do you need 60 AK whatever they are? It just, it, that's the other huge thing that I think we, we let go in this country. Why can't there be some kind of reasonable limit on the uh, amount of firepower that one person is allowed to acquire? So uh, two comical things here. Um,
the NRA said, well, look, it's better to do it through regulation because it's, it's, it avoids an all out legislative fight. But if you just said it's okay, there would be no legislative fight. <laughs> uh, it, to, to Mark's point, you bought all those congressmen. It was a nice purchase on your part for your business. And look, uh, I've said it on the show a thousand times. Uh, I believe in capitalism, and of course, a mixed economy of some sort. Government should do certain things, and, and business should. Uh, and so, Nike should be able to sell sneakers all they like, because sneakers don't kill people. Um, but if you sell something that either takes away our freedom or kills us, it is reasonable to say, "Hey, wait, let's think about how how we do this." Now, not to say that you can't do it. So, for example, prisons take away your liberty. If we incentivize people through profit making to build prisons, well, they're gonna wanna stock those prisons with Americans, right? So they can maximize their profit. Yeah. That seems like a bad idea, right? That's not sneakers or jeans or McDonald's. And and for uh, weapons, they kill people. Now they also defend your home and you can go hunting with them. So can we have a reasonable regulation on, hey, this will help you defend your home, but you don't really need, or help you hunt, but you don't need bump stock for hunting vermin, as <laughs> Mitt Romney said when he was running for president, <laughs> right? So, uh, so this is something that requires a, t a little bit more thinking and regulation on this stuff. Yeah. And the only people who would do the all-out legislative fight is the NRA. Yeah. And then Paul Ryan turns around and says, well, the smartest, quickest fix would be just to do it through regulation. Their, their argument for regulation here is astounding and hilarious. I thought you guys hated regulation. The reason is because the, the so-called regulation is weak sauce. It's much weaker, and it's how much weaker can you get? It's just a bump stock, you just take it out, right? But they don't want to take it out, they wanna yeah. keep selling it. So they're gonna do the regulation that doesn't actually stop selling it. And Paul Ryan, what do you mean it's the smartest, quickest fix? You're the Speaker of the House, all you can do is introduce the legislation. Hey, we're having a vote, hey, we voted yes, we're done with it. How, how can yeah. it be any quicker than that, <laughs> right? No, just admit it. You, you get money from the NRA, NRA gets money from gun manufacturers. You profit off of people dying, just fess up to it and say, yeah. hey, I'm bought. I, I, massacres make me, get me more political contributions and that's why I won't do it, just be honest with it. If you like this video, you probably like independent media. The best way to support independent media, become a member of the Young Turks. TYTnetwork.com slash join.